أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل يا عباد الذين آمنوا اتقوا ربكم للذين أحسنوا في هذه الدنيا حسنة وأرض الله واسعة إنما يوفى الصابرون أجرهم بغير حساب قل إني أمرت أن أعبد الله مخلصا له الدين وأمرت لأن أكون أول المسلمين قل إني أخاف إن عصيت ربي عذاب يوم عظيم صدق الله العظيم These are ayats from Surah Az-Zumar The first one was the ayah number 8 قل يا عباد الذين آمنوا اتقوا ربكم إن شاء الله In this lecture we will complete it Complete this ayah And pass to another ayat إن شاء الله قل يا عباد الذين آمنوا اتقوا ربكم Say to my servants Who believed to me Say to them اتقوا ربكم Keep your duty to Allah Azza wa Jalla. Protect yourself from Allah Azza wa Jalla. لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا فِي هَذِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً And keep in mind that for those who does righteous deeds in this life, there is for them a good things in another life. لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا فِي هَذِي الدُّنْيَا For those who did righteous deeds good deeds or beautiful deeds in this life there will be hasana for them in the hereafter and the earth of Allah is spacious actually those who are patients those who are who wants to be patient إنما يوفى الصابرون الله عز وجل talk now about the patience إنما يوفى الصابرون it means that in this way we will need patience إنما يوفى الصابرون those are patient الله عز وجل will reward them أجرهم بغير حساب they reward without reckoning Allah will not measure their reward, will not weigh their reward. It will be uh, without measuring, without uh, weighing them. What does it mean? It means that it will be, it will increase. Uh, every time it will increase. It will not stop. Allah Azza wa Jalla will reward them uh, without limit. إنما يوفى الصابرون أجرهم بغير حساب. But uh, the essential thing in this ayah is the sabr. Uh, we should understand from the ayah that the way uh, which Allah Azza wa Jalla wants us to live in this life, to seek the truth and live with the truth and live in an accordance with uh, the truth and first of all uh, finding the truth all of them is a hard way it's not an easy way the people or the man the one should sacrifice for it should sacrifice for the Hidayah should sacrifice for the uh, truth if you want to reach the truth if you want to reach the guidan guidance if you want Allah Azza wa Jalla bring you guidance, you should sacrifice for it from your time, from your money. You should seek uh, it. And uh, this, all of them uh, need uh, uh, patience. You have to be patient in this way. 
if you are not patient in this way, you will not attain uh, the result. You will not attain the reward of Allah Azza wa Jal. So Allah Azza wa Jal in, in, in one ayah say, says, وَلَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الصَّابِرُونَ No one will reach the paradise, the reward of Allah Azza wa Jal, except those who are patient. You have to be patient. You have to be able to sacrifice in this way. And in this ayah, the ayah number eight, uh, in the previous lecture, we uh, saw that Allah Azza wa Jalla talking about immigrating from one area to another area, from your homeland to another land. Actually, immigrating from your ho homeland to a strange is something difficult and this is the sacrifice and in that time at that point you will need sabr and you have to be patient you have to show Allah Azza wa Jalla that you are patient without your relatives without your uh, homeland and whatever uh, belonged to you in that land you left all of them in order to please Allah Azza wa Jalla, in order to uh, seek the truth or in order to leave the truth. You leave your land when they are hostile to your religion or when they are hostile to the truth. We talked about them in the previous lecture. So when you leave, leave them, you will need the patience. and. At that point, you will feel lonely. You will feel lonely at that point. You will feel yourself as if you are the one person without anyone surrounding you. And we can see the same feelings happened in Ibrahim السلام, when he said to his people, وَأَعْتَزِلُكُمْ I'm disowning you, I am separating myself from you. And also I disown those you are calling them, you are asking them for. You are praying to them. He is mentioning the idols. I am separating myself from them also. I am going. Inni dahibun ila rabbi. I am going. وَأَعْتَزِلُكُمْ وَمَا تَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ وَأَدْعُوا رَبِّي When he said those uh, sayings to his people and separated himself from them and left his homeland, he felt lonely. And at that point what he said? He said, رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ وَقَالَ إِنِّي ذَاهِبٌ إِلَىٰ رَبِّي سيهدين. He said that I'm going to my Lord. He will guide me. And then he said رَبِّ هَبْ لِي مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ Oh my God, please give me a child. Give me a child. I want you to give me a child. Please هَبْ لِي مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ Grant me a child. Rabbi Habli and he wanted his he didn't say grant me any child, anyone, evil one or righteous one. He said Habli min as salihin. He wanted uh, from Allah Azza wa Jalla a child uh, which uh, he is from those who are Allah Azza wa Jalla love them, please with them. As Salihun. Why Ibrahim alayhi salam did that at that point? because he felt lonely. He wanted someone next to him, like Musa salam. When Allah said to him, go to Fir'aun and warn him, he said, min ahli. Please, O oh Allah Azza support me with my brother Ibra uh, Harun. Give me Harun as a supporter. وَجَعَلْ لِي وَزِيرًا مِنْ أَهْلِي 
Harun Akhi, my brother Harun. And uh, after that dua of Musa alayhi salam, Allah Azza wa Jalla gave prophethood to Harun alayhi salam. His, why he asked Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, Harun? Because he didn't want to be, feel himself lonely. He said, give me Harun. وَجَعَلْ هارون أخي وأشركه في أمري كي نسبحك كثيرا in order that we can mention you we can remember you more and more when you have brother with you and you can remember Allah Azza wa Jalla with him you can talk about Allah Azza wa Jalla in that brotherhood you can keep your duty to Allah Azza wa Jalla. You can warn each other. This is important. But think yourself that you are in a society which is hostile to the truth, to Allah Azza wa Jal, to the only Creator. And you feel yourself lonely between them. And they draw you out of the city. At that point, you will need much more patience. And Allah Azza wa Jalla, so therefore, Allah Azza wa Jalla says, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ Those who are patient. The Jews was not understanding this reality. They were asking their Prophet, why Allah Azza wa Jalla wants us to be patient? Why should we sacrifice? You say that Allah Azza wa Jalla has all the power, He can do whatever He wants. So tell Him, give us food, tell Him, give us successful, tell Him, give us whatever we need. Why Allah Azza wa Jalla put us in adversity? Why we should be patient? They couldn't understand this point. And when Allah Azza wa Jalla wanted them to show their selves, to sacrifice with their selves in fighting, to open uh, that uh, holy land, Ya qawmi dkhulun ardan muqaddasata allati kataba Allahu lakum. When their Prophet, when Musa alayhi salam commanded them to fight, they said, Idhab anta wa rabbuka faqatila. Go and your Lord, you too fight there. You said that your Lord is powerful. You said that he is omniscient. You said that he is omnipotent. So go and fight with him. It is the time to show us that your Lord is almighty. And they didn't want to sacrifice. They didn't want to show their patience in order to please Allah Azza wa Jalla. But Allah, we should know that Allah Azza wa Jalla, of course He has all the power. He can do whatever He wants. He can take us from here directly to paradise. He can do that. But He wants to show us, He wants to see from us that we are volunteer to sacrifice ourselves or our relatives or our homeland and to stay in that state patiently.